Whoa! What's going on over there? Hello, and welcome back to the checkpoint, and welcome back to another episode of Deluvian. Um, there's like a big thing going on over there. Don't really know what's going on. I'm going to avoid that. Uh, I'm going to dock quickly just so I can uh, kind of get my bearings because I haven't played this game in a while. And uh, I need to kind of get myself uh, reintroduced to the mechanics because this is the newest update. I believe it's like 1.16 or something like that. Uh, either way, it's kind of refreshed the controls and the camera. So we'll see if there are any like major differences we can see throughout this gameplay. Uh, so yeah, welcome back guys. Uh, the beacon keeper says, follow those beacons, they'll take you straight to Tonnersburg. Okay, so that's where we're going next, apparently. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hopefully we don't get blown up by that thing was uh, that was over there. Oh god, why is my... Oh my god, I'm moving so slowly, like in terms of my camera. What's going on? Why is my mouse sensitivity so, so low? What? What's going on here? Hold on, let me have a look at the controls. Maybe the settings. Uh... Mouse sensitivity shouldn't be 0.1, I don't think. We'll put it to like halfway, so around there. That seems a bit easier. Oh, look at this. These are, uh, Were these here before, the sub-control modes? Okay, so arcade, sub will maneuver towards the cam reticle, uh, turning its relative to the... Uh, turning is relative to the direction the camera is facing, or sub will maneuver independent of camera. I mean, I guess arcade is what we should be doing. Let's apply that. And uh, let's go back into the game and see if it's changed anything. Okay, well that is a lot better. Um, so let's uh, start moving. So it looks like the um, yeah the sub follows the uh, the the reticle now, which is kind of cool. Uh, it might make uh, battling uh, enemies a bit more difficult, but. You know what, it's fine. Uh, there's a research capsule over here. Let's go check this out. Uh, and then we'll check out the insides of our ship, just so we can see what's going on there. See what's changed. I don't think much has changed. Let's dock up here. Oh, I missed the dock. Oh, uh, no. Right, we need to... <laughs> we need to get out of wherever we are now. Okay, um, can I reverse out of here? Go back, Steve. There we go. Wow, that was a hard landing. Uh, let's dock in. Uh, press R. There we go. Brilliant. All right, the game has been saved, so we're at a landmark. Let's have a look inside. Have we been here? Oh, apparently not. So there's a Stav Kirk chart, and uh, this blessed chapel could have been built to honor the deep. No matter, no matter what the skeptics say, why else would the deep have saved it from the waves? A dweller priest said that apparently. Uh, we've got a heart pendant, permanently increases the endurance of crew member by one. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, we could have probably pressed take all there, but you know what? It's fine. Uh, let's leave this area. Hopefully we don't go crashing into uh, another thing. And let's uh, head back up to where we first were. And so that way, where well, are we going down? No, we want to go up. We want to go up. We don't want to get close to our crush depth. Uh, we'll get close to this thing. And we need to follow the lanterns or something? Oh, we need to follow those things. Okay, let's check the inside of our ship just so we can see how everyone's doing. Of course, we've got uh, Kat uh, up here, who is our gunner, Kat Smith. There she is. We also have, I think we have a recruit that, oh no, no, never mind. Uh, let's avoid that. Let's not do that right now. I think, could we have like, add crew? Oh, I don't think we have anyone to add. But I think these are our main like, uh, oh, I've exited it there. Um, these are our main components. So we've got a gunner, a helm, and a sonar guy. Uh, there was a way to do Cerner, I think it was C, or something like that. We'll, we'll try it out now. Um, or was it space? You have to hold something. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's just go straight ahead. Okay, well, we're back on track after four minutes of just fucking around, really. We're back in uh, full speed ahead. We're heading to Tonnersburg. Uh, I believe she said it was this way, right? I think there's a wandering merchant somewhere over there. Don't really want to tangle with anyone right now, so I'm going to try to stay aware. Uh, and he said follow these lanterns, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll keep updated with our crew. Uh, but, oh god, what is that? What's going on? Don't know what happened there. Oh, our screen like flashed loads of times for, a, for some bizarre reason. My screen just actually like turned off for a second. You probably won't be able to see that in game. There's something going on with my monitor. It keeps like uh, flickering on and off. It's definitely, I don't think it's my graphics card, because I've only had this computer for like, what, a month or two? So, surely it can't be that. Um, 
And uh, yeah, this TV, this this monitor I'm using, which is also a TV, is pretty old. Maybe I need like a dedicated one rather than using a television. It's like quite a small television. It's like, uh, God, I don't even know how big. 30 inch, I want to say, 32 inch, something like that. I don't know. Found new landmark, Carl the Slur. Here it is. I swear we've been here before, no? Oh my god, look at all this fish. Wow. The soundtrack is so awesome as well. So I think we just want to keep following these fish, right? We want to get to Tonnersburg. Um, there is something over there. Is that another pirate? A wandering merchant. Let's have a look. Let's dock up with this guy if we can. Mm, come on. No, wrong way. Wrong way, Steve. Let's try uh, ca catch up with this guy. Come on. Full speed ahead. There we go. Want to catch up with him so we can dock up. Maybe he's got some goods to sell. Maybe he's got some new crew to recruit. Uh, new crew? New crew to recruit. There we go. We'll dock up there. Oh, God. And hopefully this should fill up our uh, water tanks as well. Or our air tanks, sorry. Okay, apparently we can't dock with that guy. So that's fantastic. Uh, we do need some uh, water tanks, though. So we need to be careful. Uh, some air tanks, rather. Warning, low air tank. Luckily, we have another one. So hopefully we can find somewhere to dock up. Can we dock up with these things? Or potentially not. That looks like an enemy submarine right there. So we're just going to try and navigate around this fella. Uh, can we dock up with these? No. So it looks like uh, only like buildings. We should be able to port, uh, dock up with this little port thing over here. So let's do that. We've got to be careful of those pirates over there. Here we go. We found Tonnersberg. Let's find Hasley. Let's do it. Uh, there's a guild protector. Is he after me? I don't think so. Let's get over to this thing. We don't want to tangle with those guys. Let's hook up. There we go. Nice. All right, we are in. Are we in Tonnersburg? Is this Tonnersburg? I swear we've already done this part, but maybe not. Here's Hasley. Looking for John Hasley. We have done this part. I swear we have. Yeah, we've definitely done this part. Interesting. Okay. 15 reinforced hull panels, 10 engine parts. Yeah. 40 pieces of scrap metal. A Morse radio. And some blackberries. Consider this... Yeah, we've definitely done this part. I remember that thing about the blackberries. Well, I've just wasted everyone's time. So we need all this stuff. Where do we get it from? Um, let's back out of this thing. Our air tank is filled up. Good, good. Let's have a look at our quests. Um, sir, we need to get all this stuff. How do we find that sort of stuff? Is it like... Just dotted around, or have I got to go loot it from other pirates? Or let's let's talk to um this guy. Where can I find find reinforced hull plates? Down in Rhinefjord in the minefields. Be careful out there. Plenty of live explosives. Yeah, dude, that's why it's called a fucking minefield. Jesus. Where can I find some new uh, not re new recruits? What are we looking for here? Uh, okay. Uh, scrap metal. How are you finding the new recruits? The boy never says anything except to apologize. The girl never shuts up and the rest of the crew don't, move, don't do more than a mumble. If we make it to the endless corridor, it'll be a miracle. Jesus, so negative. What a negative Nancy. All right, so we're looking uh, to get to, if we look at our map, we're going to the minefields. Now, where were they? Were they back this way? Oh, uh, God. Um... Let's just see what he says again. I've just got to figure out whereabouts we're looking for this. No, I just want to talk to him. Down in Ah, Rhinefjord. Have we, have we been there yet? Have we been there? Don't remember. Let's just avoid that guild protector there. I'm not sure if we've been there. Let's go up to... Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this big civilization up here. Let's head up. There's like a little sea colony. Oh, man, it's very pretty, this game. It looks very good for uh, for an indie title. Then again, though, you often find that indie titles often do look better than AAA games because a lot of big games on the market, they really focus on, like, gritty, super high-definition graphics or, like, cool, um, you know, cool textures, really awesome-looking lighting and stuff. But, like, games like this, games where they actually have a bit of personality, you know, with these, like, bright, uh, bright fish and objective markers that are made of fish and the bright colours, really, it's a breath of fresh air. You in charge? I'm the mayor here. You're lucky to visit us at this time. Not many travelers get to see a tree in full bloom. How did you get a tree? It was a gift from House Morganson before they fell. When the apples are ripe, 
We harvest the. Oh, we have the harvest festival. Everyone wants a taste of the apples. Okay. All right. Look at this cool dude, Chase. Chase. What a cool name, Chase. Have you heard of Hasley, dude? We literally, we we literally just met him. So I don't know why I'm asking everyone about Hasley. Uh. Oh, a torpedo officer. Listen, mate, I'm fully aware of what type of ship you're piloting. It's not the one that would lead you to require a torpedo officer, yeah? Alright, fine. Are you a sailor then, Hal Whistlewet? I've dabbled a bit in sailing, but there's only so much fun you can have blowing things up with torpedoes. I'm sure that's not the case. Who's this emo-looking chick over here? She's making very weird noises. I'm just gonna leave her alone. I think she's more trouble than she's worth. Okay, so we need to head to, um... Rhinefield or whatever it was called. Uh, unfortunately, I think it was back that way, no? There's Tonnersberg. Tonsberg. Don't know how it's pronounced. It might be Tonnersberg. I swear we've been to Rhinefjord before or whatever it's called. Um, it's in the mines. So I'm not sure exactly how we get to uh, that place now. I mean, I guess we'd follow the fish. Will the fish lead us somewhere? Where are the... Oh, they're going down here. Okay, let's have a look down here. Let's just follow. When in doubt, follow the fish. That's a, a life lesson I'll give you guys for free. So what is down here? Oh, it's like a big spider or something? What is that? We're going down very deep there. Hopefully we don't get to the crush depth. Dude, this looks like a giant like tarantula. There's a research capsule here. We'll slow down. Frozen giant. Yeah, it is. It is like a giant spidery something. So it looks like it's leading us that way, but I kind of want to check out this research capsule just in case it has any of the materials that Hasley wants us to get. Uh, we filled an air tank, good stuff. All right, we have a repair kit. Brilliant. Uh, a torpedo. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll just take those. Uh, we'll take those in a second. Frozen giant chart, good stuff, and we'll take the rest of that. Brilliant. Fantastic. All right, let's back out of there. And where are we heading? Up this way? Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Full steam ahead. Man. I need to remember how to do the sonar stuff. Look at our little submarine. How's everyone doing? Let's check up on everyone while we're here. They all seem to be good. Uh, it looks like could someone probably fit here? Like, is it like a cargo area? Uh, with the gunners fine, I presume. She hasn't really, yeah. Yeah, every, everyone's okay. The Iron Minna is, is doing fine. Everyone's good. Wonderful. Man. Follow those fishies, Steve. So, we need to get to this minefield uh, to find the... Oh, shit, this looks like a minefield, right? What are those things? The, like, plants? The giant seat. There's another research capsule. We're finding a lot of research capsules today, aren't we? Stock up with the, with uh, this thing if we can. Whoa, whoa there. Let's there we go. Slow down a bit. Brilliant. Filled an air tank. What's in here? Another chest. We have a heart pendant and the giant sea chart. These walls were constructed to save the town that once lay directly behind them. Even their desperate attempts to delay the inevitable could not save their lives of their houses. Man, there's a lot of um, lore in this game, isn't there? I'm very surprised how deep this game actually is, because... Hold on, where's the orange fish? I think it's up this way. Let's just go up for a bit so we can see. Yeah, there's a lot of lore. Oh man, listen to this saxophone. Holy shit. There's a lot of lore, and for like... Oh, Rhinefield is beyond here. Brilliant! Fantastic! That's where we need to go. Yeah, we need to go ahead this way. And this like air current's blowing us uh, in that direction. There will times when you need to make very quick changes to your crew. This is where captain's time comes in handy. Press and hold V to slow down time around you. I need to make changes in the heat of battle. Why? Where's the... Uh-uh. What's going on? Ugh. Whoa, what? What am I making changes for? Oh god, there's something here. Oh shit. Right, um... Right, I don't think we need any changes. Oh shit. We just need to be able to aim and fire. Let's not go backwards at full steam ahead. Go forward! Alright, we need to make sure that we're getting... Oh god, we need... There we go. We need to make sure that we're getting all these shots on. We don't want to waste ammo or anything like that. Come on. 
Nice. These are good shots. Good shots, Steve. We could do it, team. Have we done it? Yes, we've crippled it. Let's go check this thing out. But man, this air current is blowing us in completely the wrong direction. Alright, we've got no ammo left. Hopefully we find some from here. We've got low food. Shit. Is there anything in here? There's a chest down here. Hopefully it has some goodies for us. Fish fossils. Okay. Books. Diner. What's this thing? Scrap metal. We need that stuff. Brilliant. I don't know how much we need. Uh, so we're low on food as well. Yeah, we need to kind of... Oh, what does that say? I... No, I didn't want to do that. I want to take the food. If your crew goes hungry, they'll no longer work at their stations. Well, we've got... Oh, man. We do need a bit bit more, I think. All right. Let's keep heading. We need to find some more uh, scrap metal and stuff. Luckily, luckily, we found some from that uh, that flounder there. Oh, God. Is this the minefield over here? Oh, I think it is. All right. We've got to be nice and uh, careful here. We don't want to go straight into a, a mine straight away. I think is the, this is the right direction, right? Yeah. Just got to be careful of these mines. Let's sail above them. So what are we looking for? Hull capsules, I think they're called. Oh my god, those mines are massive. They're like the ones in Finding Nemo. Do you remember that part in Finding Nemo? Where the shark, like, eats the... Eats the mine? Uh, oh, what's that down there? Oh, there's some ruins down here. This is good. We probably need to go down here, don't we? Fallen station. Why am I... Oh, I want to go down. Come on, Steve. There we go. Let's dock up. Brilliant. Good. Good, good. We got our air tank back. Hopefully we can find some food or something. Yeah. Reinforced plate. Essential for the creation of submarines. Alright, cool. There's a crowbar. World's most useful object, apparently. Okay. Good description. More reinforced plates. Um, no. Did we get everything from there? I don't think we did. We need more food. That's what we need. I don't think we got everything from here. No, there is something. Oh, no. We took that. Or maybe that is the... Is it? Yeah. Uh, is it then? Alright, I did see there was like a fallen station symbol. Don't know which direction it was. I think it was over this way. Oh, look. It's there. Oh, we'll find some good stuff from over there, won't we? Let's just carefully navigate down. Ah, there's the anchor symbol. That means we can hook up there. Let's dock in. If we can. There we go. Brilliant. Hopefully we find some food here or something. Oh, it's all sideways. Look at this. Is there anything actually here? Oh, brilliant. There's a chest. Scrap metal is what we need. Uh, Dinar, fish fossil, reinforced plates. All right, well, I think we'll wrap up the episode there. It's only a short one, but, you know, we have to keep going. Actually, no, my, my timer stopped, so that's why it seems so sh uh, short. It's on 13 minutes. I thought we'd only been recording for 13 minutes. Probably more than that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Deluvion, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of the episode. And uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. But for now, this has been Steve. That has been Deluvian. Checkpoint complete.